Welcome to the channel. As you can see behind me, we're back working on the tractor after what seems like a very, very long time. We haven't worked on this thing in at least a couple months, even before we started planting corn, and that's been a while. If I don't get working on this now, I'm gonna start to forget how everything goes back together. And I, quite honestly, I just wanna get this thing done, get it out of the shop. There's many other things that we need to kind of get rolling with and get them in here and get working on them. So very similar scenario. I just, I need to get this done and I wanna get this done. I'm excited to get it running, get it out of here and be able to use it. There's a couple things on this tractor that I'm fearing may leak and hope <laughs> hopeful that they don't. This is one of them because of having to chisel the old one out to get the new bushing in there for the temperature sensor. I taped it and I pasted it, so hopefully that holds up and works and the same thing. Kind of back here with the hydraulic lines that I had to completely redo. Hopefully I got that clean enough that those don't leak as well. At this point, I'm gonna try and mount the exhaust slash intake manifold back up here. And, cause now that I have this fastened, it just would have made it difficult to have that on first and then try and do this. There's really no way to, to do it, honestly. So now I have this ready to go. We'll get this thrown on here. And that just means we're one step closer to firing this thing. Manifold is on, we're tight. Should be good with the gasket as well. I know the fan is still completely loose, so I have the belts for that. I think we'll probably go ahead and throw those on here, get that all tightened up, and then we can throw our generator back on. And that should be pretty much everything for the front that needed to be done yet. And then we can kind of work our way back now, obviously there's no oil in this yet, and I do want to drain transmission oil, hydraulic fluid, all that good stuff, rear end. Probably all new fluids everywhere. I do have a new hydraulic filter, so we'll get on that as well. But this is definitely because I know that this needs done. I don't want to forget about it. And it obviously isn't going to run anyway if this stuff isn't on there. Generator's on, it's tight, belts are mounted, and those are tight. Next task, rebuild this carburetor. Here's all the parts we have to rebuild this thing. This is a basic kit. You can get, I think, comprehensive kits, larger kits than this, which I think the most expensive one was like 75 bucks, and that's pretty much every part on this thing for the most part. I didn't really think that I needed to do that as much. So I don't know, hopefully this works out, but I guess worst case scenario, we'll have to maybe change some other parts, but I think this will be fine. This is the basic kit that's gonna take probably your basic necessities, the basic parts that are gonna go bad. 
So we'll start ripping this thing apart and see what we can accomplish. Both sections are tore apart. All the pieces are separated. Now, so I'm gonna try and clean these up, either with degreaser or gasoline, something, blow through all the passageways, and then we'll replace the parts that obviously came in the kit. And hopefully it runs a lot better. Now, part of the problem why it didn't run before was obviously because of the so much blow by in the pistons and everything that didn't help matters. But I know there's issues with this as well. So definitely hopeful. One thing I've found within taking all this stuff apart, I don't know if you can hear that and you can see it right there, it's wet. This float has a little tiny leak, probably just a pinhole but it does have some uh, fluid or gasoline in here. So rather than even try and mess with it, we're just gonna order a new float because that can cause you a world of problems. This stuff all needs cleaned and same thing with each section of the carburetor body itself. We gotta go through all that, blow through all the passageways, clean everything out. But since I need to order a new float, we're gonna just jump on something else, and I think we're gonna mount the draw bar back on here because originally we we're gonna mount the three point, which is sitting out there now, and I have since sold that. So, not even gonna worry about that. Gonna mount the draw bar back on here. We can do that. We can mount our dash, I believe, mount our lights, run wires. There's a lot to do without the carburetor. I also forgot that I JB welded this crack that was right here. So I'm gonna try and smooth that up a little bit and just throw a little coat of paint over that. That's better. I have come across a little issue. Not a huge one, but more or less, Ew, I shouldn't put this on yet. Dirty. Uh, yeah, you're dirty. So this drain plug is right above the draw bar. So rather than fasten all this and then have to remove the draw bar and everything, I'm just gonna pull it back off, let it off till I drain all that fluid out of there. And then we can put this on. And the fluid needs drained anyway, so. Not a huge loss having to take this back off. I would rather drain the fluids out once I kind of have this tire situation figured out. This whole wheel and assembly, everything's gonna come off. I'm hoping to be able to pop the clamps off of the wheel and then just pop the whole, leave the whole center attached. Now I do wanna move, I believe, that one back in. So it's the same distance. But before that, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I think I'm gonna jump on putting these lights on and running some wires. And I know there's a bunch of stuff I still have to put in for the gauges. And we may install the fuel gauge in the gas tank as well.
I already had a hole here. There's one here too. I'm not really sure if that's the right angle. I have this as far up as I can go with it. So without drilling another hole here, that's pretty much what I got. So I kind of have it turned that way. I don't know if how well it's gonna work or not, but I won't know that until obviously I try it in the dark. And hopefully I don't have to be running a tractor too much in the dark, but I did want a light that was shining behind. I could add another one over there. I'm not sure if I really need to do that or not because I do have the handle over there on that side. So I don't really have any other holes, which I could go beside it, but that's the side you're gonna be getting on and off of most of the time. So this should do what I need it to do. Most of the time, a lot of tractors only have one anyway. Sometimes they're on the seat. I don't know. We'll see. I do plan to get another triangle for this to hang on the back. The other two, I think I need longer bolts for. And they're gonna be mounted probably up here where the other ones were. Since I need to get longer bolts for these clamps, it just goes to the bottom. So unfortunately, need longer bolts for that. I think we're gonna jump over to the fuel tank and we'll throw in this new fuel gauge. I don't know 100% if this was bad, but definitely doesn't look the best. So it's bad now. Well, that's interesting. And this is supposed to be for this tractor, but here we are. It's a lot shorter. So it's gonna read empty and you're gonna have like a quarter tank yet, which I guess, <laughs> you know you're not gonna be empty that way, but. That kind of sucks. Switch is mounted for the lights. That seemed like the best spot. We had some other holes, but I think it was in this one before, maybe, I don't know. It's over there now. Now I think we can put on our plug wires. We'll mount the rest of our wiring up here, which I believe went like this. Everything else, all this wiring right here, I think ran across the top in these brackets. And then these. Put one up there and tucked in like so. It's definitely starting to look like a tractor. I know I've said that before, but we're really starting to get pretty close here. As far as all of the body panels go and all that, I might try and hold off putting any of that on. I might try and get everything to wear you know, I can fire it. Now we may put, have to mount the framing there and put the gas tank on and get all that tied in so we can run it. Or we could try and do like a temporary thing running into the carburetor. That way we can just try it with like a jug or something. The wiring over the top of the head or the valve cover, that's secured back in place. I gotta figure out what they were doing with this wire. This was just zip tied here. So I gotta trace that out. Wires for the generator. Those can be tied back in. Once we can get some of the other things attached to the gauges, some of that wiring, and I have to run the oil pressure line down here yet, then we can mount that because right now the way it is, it's gonna work a lot better being how it is now, tying in the wires versus back behind the steering column. Once it's back behind here, it's very hard to get at the wires on this side. I know we kind of jumped around a little bit in this video, but I need to get bolts for the lights 
and I need to order some parts for the carburetor kit. So we jumped around, did what we could. I have to order some parts, get some bolts, and then we can keep progressing with that. Once the carburetor is back together, we can mount that, mount everything for the governor and all that stuff. We'll throw some of that stuff on for the gauges, get those lines ran. And then we're gonna be, we're gonna be very, very close to firing this thing up and let's just cross our fingers. This is where I'm gonna cut the video for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm happy to get back working on this thing because it's been a long time. We just got busy with planting and all that stuff. So I'm happy to get back on it and I'll be even happier when this thing is running. No flaws, no leaks, everything's good and we can back it out of the shop and put it back in the shed. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like and I'll see you in the next video.